It's my feel-good breakfast show. Table didn't fly out the studio now, man. Oh, very excited. It's going to be an incredible tussle. I'm really relishing the opportunity to step into the ring with Siv, but I think every fight tomorrow night is going to be spectacular. Now, talking about spectacular challenges, of course, the world of cycling is ready for the most famous of all cycle tours around the world. It's the 102nd, 102 races have come. The Tour de France gets underway in Utrecht tomorrow, a brand new starting venue. The race will be made up of 3,400 kilometers, 21 stages, six new stage cities included, and of course, one South African cycle team for the first time in the race's history. Undoubtedly, the biggest and most confusing race <laughs> that anyone has ever encountered. Now, I think for even um, fans of cycle, Cycling. This is quite a, an interesting and a confusing race because there are so many permutations, so many classifications, mm. so many cities included, but it is one of the most romantic, most powerful races the out thing. there. It must be really beautiful to see all these stages happen. I mean, one of the questions I asked Graham earlier is how do you actually follow this race? So people take off time to follow it. Is it 22 days? Uh, uh, it is. It's thereabouts. I think it runs from the 4th to the 26th of, of July. It really is obviously kicking off tomorrow. Um, and, and when you talk about those stages, I think what makes it so interesting is there are so many classifications. Now, looking at the roots, nine flat stages, three hill stages, <laughs> and the most important, the most exhilarating to watch, the seven mountain stages. And you get a king of the mountain, you get a yellow jersey, the guy who's the overall winner, you get the best newcomer. So there are so many opportunities. But in this, <clears throat> I mentioned a couple of new cities being thrown in this year. So it's going to be made even more beautiful. We've got Utrecht, wow. which is um, oh. our opening um, city, which is a 13.8 kilometer time trial to kickstart <laughs> those human engines. <laughs> uh, moves through Livero, La Pia, Saint Martin, just to name a couple. Um, and there are a total of 22 teams participating in this year's event. Nine riders per team. That makes up a, a total of 198 riders. Um, and it, it really is, I think, the pinnacle. And, of course, we get to see them in their, all their glory there. <laughs> <laughs> the in their little tiny shorts. Where they finish up, yeah. I tell you what's even more beautiful is that the first African team or South African team is taking part. Kubeka or Kubeka, if you really <laughs> want to. Um, three South Africans that are taking part and, well, five African cyclists that are taking part in the race. So I'm rooting for Team Kubeka. And it is a massive opportunity yes. for our local cyclists. And I'm glad the fact that they've made it African. But I think some names to look forward to. I know we were chatting about some of the, yeah. the favourites. We've got Vincenzo Nibali, who took it last year after Chris Froome um, and Alberto Conte, who crashed out. Um, so I would say those are the, the, the main names to watch this year. But we'll, we'll try to educate ourselves and educate you and educate you guys at home as to what's going to be happening um, in the Tour de France kicking off tomorrow.